Hi guys, Bort Petrinin here. Um, I don't know if you remember my project Great Depression, where I was photographing uh, in wet plate collodion the companies that got bankrupt. Today I am in a slaughterhouse uh, where, where I'm documenting how, you know, basically the idea is to document, document the state of a company when the less worker of the last shift turn off the lights so uh, I'm using three cameras Kodak folding brownie is the best camera it's really my favorite one uh, actually it's really cheap so you know so guys that you that, that guys that you Guys, that you bought a deer doff and all, all those expensive lenses, please don't use this uh, folding brownie. Why? Because when you will see the quality, you will get depressed. So it's not healthy. It's not healthy for you, but it's healthy for us, East Europeans. Ha. This is my second camera. It's a Shenhao 4x5 inch. I just finished the exposure. I was photographing the the area where uh, the, ca the cattle gets slaughtered. Hey guys, the most, interesting, uh, the most interesting image I've done here in the basement. You know, a wet plate needs a lot of uh, light, right? So here in the basement it's completely dark. There is one, uh, one window here. Uh, and my camera is way back. I will show you where. You know, it's too dark for iPad. <laughs> but it's not too dark for wet plate or at least wet hacked wet plate that I hack it. I hacked the process. So I was illuminating this scene for 18 minutes. 18 minutes at uh, aperture f4.5. Uh, I was using also um, swing. You see, I was, I was tilting uh, back and, and front plane so I, could, I, would, I would have this, this scenery in focus like you know in perspective i don't know if you know how to do it but it's really it's really really handy and actually it could be done also with this kind of german metallic cameras those wooden wooden cameras they don't they don't do so well with precise uh, tilting previous work with the uh, great depression in great depression projects i was focusing on the things that people left behind and many images from that uh, period from those companies um, you have a feeling that you're in like in Auschwitz you know that you're observing the things that you know victims left whereas here it's a different story you know I'm photo let's say this will be a really cool image I really like that and with that st straight lines I will get really a feeling of um, surgical you know of um, cold of um, precise of um, you know, um, like a clear image that will be full of connotations. So I really have huge hopes for this. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, that's it. I'm done for today. It was really exhausting. I've done a, uh, I've done a bunch of good uh, pictures. I have another day that I can come and photograph, but I have enough of this slaughterhouse. Uh, I mean, I've done enough images. Uh, to bring up the point, like so, sort of a counter, uh, aesthetical counterpoint to the stuff that I've done before. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, just click the link and you will see the whole uh, gallery of images and you will know what I'm talking about. So um, thanks for watching and goodbye. Look at that. It's a perfect, it's boring. People will make fun of me that I'm German or what. Crap.